What happened and why now? Well, it is um, the date that the Legislative Council elections were due to be held yesterday, Sunday. Uh, those, of course, were delayed or postponed by a year by Carrie Lam, the chief executive here, on concern, at least publicly concern, about the coronavirus outbreak. And, uh, you know, many protesters wonder why delay it a year, and especially since Hong Kong has the, the outbreak fairly well contained. Uh, they see it as an attempt, of course, to uh, limit potential gains by the pro-democracy lawmakers who are standing for that election. Anyway, it has been delayed for one year, and the protesters turned out yesterday. Uh, police, it didn't get that violent. There were 19 arrests, I should say, uh, for disorderly conduct, as well as obstruction of justice and some violence against the police. But there were also 270 arrests that we know of as of 9 p.m. last night, mostly for illegal assembly. And in a statement, the Hong Kong police uh, and the government uh, said that these were unlawful protests and also selfish uh, because of the coronavirus situation. Uh, they do not want uh, large gatherings, obviously, because they're protests against them, but also uh, for the uh, prospect of spreading uh, the, the, the coronavirus. Uh, the government statement also said that uh, independent slogans may be in violation of the national security law. That's a bit of a gray area because sedition is not supposed to be part of the national security law. Subversion and secession and terrorist activities and collusion with foreign forces are under the national security law. But sedition, the chanting for independence, is not necessarily by the letter of the law. And it's interesting because another individual, a 47-year-old man, was also arrested, possibly initially reported under the national security law for uttering uh, seditious comments uh, between June, end of June and August. Uh, local media has been saying that has since been, uh, I don't want to say downgraded, but the charges, potential charges have been changed to uh, those levied under an old British era anti-sedition law, not necessarily under the national security law. Still, obviously, Hong Kong is uh, on tender hooks again as people took to the street chanting uh, independent slogans and holding up placards and putting up barricades. And it's not a return to August of 2019. But uh, after a, a relative calm following the national security laws imposition, uh, we, we did see people return to the streets yesterday.